In an industry fueled by dreams and imagination, the actress Alan Atsimova left an indelible mark. Born in 1879 in Yalta, Russia, she began her journey on the stage at a young age. By 1903, she had already made a name for herself in the Moscow Art Theater, where she honed her craft and developed her unique style. Natsumova's innovative approach to acting and storytelling was groundbreaking for her time. She was one of the first actresses to bring a sense of realism to the stage, breaking away from the traditional declaratory style of acting. This bold move established her as a leading figure in the Russian theater scene. In 1916, Natsumova made the move to Hollywood, where she continued to push boundaries and break new ground. She became one of the first female film producers in Hollywood, and her films were known for their artistry and daring subject matter. Salome, which she produced and starred in, was particularly noteworthy for its avant-garde style and groundbreaking visuals. Despite facing significant challenges and discrimination in the male-dominated film industry, Natsumova persevered and left a lasting legacy. She paved the way for future generations of actresses and filmmakers, and her contributions continue to be celebrated and studied to this day. Her story is a testament to the power of creativity, determination, and the human spirit. Alan Natsumova was a groundbreaking actress who made her mark on the stage and screen in the early 20th century. You may have first recognized her in silent films such as Salome or Camille. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this classic star? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Natsumova was known for her unique style and bold choices, both on and off screen. From her unconventional personal life to her daring performances, there's no shortage of fascinating stories about this trailblazing actress. Throughout her career, Natsumova pushed boundaries and challenged conventions. She was a true pioneer in the world of film and theater, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. As we delve deeper into the life and career of Alan Natsumova, you'll discover many funny, shocking, and even sad facts that will give you a new appreciation for this trailblazing star. So, keep watching to learn more about this captivating actress and the impact she had on the world of entertainment. Born in 1879 in Yalta, Russia, the actress was raised in a well-off family. Her father was a successful businessman while her mother was a cultured woman with a love for literature and theater. This early exposure to literature and stage arts in her upbringing greatly influenced the actress's path towards performing arts. The actress's mother, being an avid theatergoer, often took her to see plays at local theaters. It was during these outings that the young girl developed a keen interest in acting. She would often mimic the actors she saw on stage, much to the amusement of her family and friends. When she was 16, the actress moved to Moscow to study at the Philharmonic Society's Drama School. Here, she met and trained under renowned theater practitioners such as Vladimir Nemirovich Denchenko, who became one of her key mentors. Under his guidance, she honed her acting skills and learned about the intricacies of stage craftsmanship. Another significant influence on the actress was her contemporary, Konstantin Stanislavski. His revolutionary acting methods, which emphasized naturalism and emotional truth, resonated deeply with the actress. She adopted many of his techniques in her own performances, contributing to her unique style and approach to acting. In 1905, the actress made her professional debut on the stage of the Moscow Art Theater. Her performance in Leo Tolstoy's The Power of Darkness was met with critical acclaim, marking the beginning of her successful career in the world of theater. In the following years, the actress continued to captivate audiences with her powerful and emotive performances. Her ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance set her apart from her peers, making her a standout figure in the theater landscape. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks throughout her career, the actress persevered, driven by her passion for storytelling and her commitment to her craft. The actress, known for her groundbreaking work, greatly influenced the film industry during her era and beyond. Born in 1879, she began her career on the stage, where her unique style and approach to character development quickly set her apart. In 1916, she made the transition to film, where she continued to push boundaries and challenge conventions. She was one of the first actresses to produce her own films, giving her complete creative control over her projects. This allowed her to explore taboo subjects and depict complex, multidimensional characters that defied traditional gender roles and expectations. One of her most notable films, Salome, caused a stir when it was released in 1923. The actress not only starred in the film but also produced and wrote it, 
making it a bold statement of her artistic vision and independence. The film's daring subject matter and avant-garde style were ahead of their time, and it remains a significant contribution to the world of cinema. The actress's influence extended beyond her own work as she paved the way for future generations of actresses and filmmakers. Her commitment to artistic freedom and her willingness to take risks inspired countless others to do the same. In addition to her work in film, the actress was also a trailblazer in the world of fashion and design. She was known for her cutting-edge style and her ability to create memorable, iconic looks both on and off the screen. Today, the actress's legacy lives on, and her contributions to the film industry continue to be celebrated and studied. Her groundbreaking work and fearless approach to storytelling have left an indelible mark on Hollywood and the world of cinema. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she was drawn to the stage. Raised in a modest home in Russia, she found solace in the local theater where she would sneak in to watch performances. One day, she was discovered hiding under the seats by an actor who took pity on her. Instead of scolding her, he allowed her to watch the show from backstage. From that moment on, the actress became a regular presence at the theater. She would help the actors with their costumes, run errands, and do whatever it took to be close to the world she loved. The actors, in turn, took her under their wing and taught her everything they knew about acting. The actress's passion for the stage only grew stronger as she got older. She began performing in small roles in local productions, and it wasn't long before she caught the attention of a prominent theater director. He was impressed by her natural talent and offered her a leading role in one of his shows. The actress's performance was a critical and commercial success, and she quickly became one of the most sought-after actresses in Russia. She went on to star in numerous plays and films, cementing her place as one of the greatest actresses of her time. Despite her success, the actress never forgot her humble beginnings. She remained dedicated to her craft and continued to push herself to be the best actress she could be. Her passion for acting was contagious, inspiring everyone around her to strive for greatness. Even today, the actress's legacy lives on, inspiring generations of actors and actresses to follow in her footsteps. Her story is a testament to the power of passion and the transformative effect it can have on one's life. The Brat, released in 1919, marked a significant milestone in the actress's career as it was the first time she portrayed an American character, both on stage and screen. This role showcased her versatility and adaptability as a performer. Partnering with Charles Bryant from 1912 to 1925, the actress found a collaborator who shared her vision and passion for the arts. Their partnership was instrumental in shaping her career during this period. As the first student of Konstantin Stanislavski to star on the American stage and screen, the actress brought a new level of authenticity and depth to her performances. Stanislavski's methods of acting, which emphasized naturalism and emotional truth, had a profound impact on her work. In summary, the actress's groundbreaking role in The Brat, her partnership with Charles Bryant, and her status as the first student of Konstantin Stanislavski to star on the American stage and screen all contributed to her enduring legacy in the world of film and theater. The actress, born in 1879 in Russia, faced numerous challenges early on in her career. Financial struggles were a constant obstacle, but she remained undeterred. To make ends meet, she took on various jobs, such as teaching and directing, which allowed her to hone her skills further. Industry skepticism was another hurdle the actress had to overcome. As a woman with ambitious goals, she faced significant opposition from those who doubted her abilities. However, she refused to let their doubts define her. Instead, she used their skepticism as motivation to work even harder and prove them wrong. The actress's resilience was truly remarkable. She found creative solutions to overcome the obstacles in her path. For instance, she formed her own production company, becoming one of the first women in Hollywood to do so. This move allowed her to have more control over her career and paved the way for other women in the industry. Moreover, the actress was a trailblazer in many ways. She took on unconventional roles and pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable for women in film. Her groundbreaking performances challenged societal norms and left a lasting impact on the industry. In the end, the actress's legacy is one of determination, resilience, and creativity. She faced numerous obstacles early on in her career, but never let them stand in her way. Instead, she used them as opportunities to grow and learn, ultimately leaving a lasting impact on the world of film. After residing on the corner of Sunset Boulevard and North Crescent Heights Boulevard in what is now West Hollywood, 
the actress decided to focus on her career in the film industry. She had already made a name for herself as a stage actress and screenwriter. In preparation for her new role, she was taught English in six months by actress Caroline Harris, mother of silent screen star Richard Barthelmas. With her newfound language skills, the actress was able to expand her reach in the film industry and connect with a wider audience. Despite the challenges she faced in learning a new language, the actress persevered and continued to excel in her craft. As a stage actress and screenwriter, she brought a unique perspective and talent to every project she worked on. Her contributions to the world of film and theater are still celebrated today. The actress's career took off with her groundbreaking performance in the play Hedda Gabler in 1898. Her portrayal of the complex character was met with critical acclaim and recognition, leading to her being hailed as a new star by a prominent critic. In 1916, the actress made her film debut in War Brides, which was a significant turning point in her career. The film was a critical and commercial success, and her performance was praised for its depth and emotional intensity. One of the actress's most notable achievements was her work on the 1923 film Salome. She not only starred in the film but also produced and wrote it. The film was highly controversial due to its daring and avant-garde style, but it also gained critical acclaim for its artistic vision. The actress's peers and collaborators spoke highly of her impact on the industry. Director Rex Ingram said, She was a great artist, one of the greatest who ever lived. Critic Alexander Wolcott noted that the actress's work had a profound influence on the development of the American theater. Despite facing numerous challenges and controversies throughout her career, the actress remained a trailblazer and a groundbreaking figure in the world of film and theater. Her contributions continue to resonate with audiences today, and her legacy as a pioneering artist remains intact. After studying dramatics at the Conservatory in Odessa in 1892, the actress's film career took off leading to the purchase of an impressive California Spanish home at 8080 Sunset Boulevard. The property, named the Garden of Alla, featured a pool and three one half acres of landscape grounds, becoming a popular spot for the Hollywood elite. Eventually, the actress lost the property, and it was transformed into a residential hotel, renamed the Garden of Alla. She resided in Villa 24 on its grounds until her passing. In 1960, the actress was posthumously honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6933 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. The actress's career began to flourish after her studies, leading to the purchase of a grand home and the creation of a popular social venue. Despite losing the property, her legacy lived on, and she was given a posthumous honor on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The actress, Alan Natsimova, was known for her unique approach to her work she was a pioneer in the film industry, known for her artistic vision and bold choices. Natsimova was born in 1879 in Yalta, Russia, and began her career on the stage before transitioning to film. Natsimova's artistic process was deeply personal and introspective. She was known to delve deeply into her characters, exploring their motivations and desires. She believed that in order to truly portray a character, she needed to understand them on a profound level. This often meant spending hours alone, contemplating the character's backstory and psychology. One of the things that made Natsumova's style unique was her willingness to take risks. She was not afraid to push boundaries and challenge conventions. This was evident in her groundbreaking film Salome, which she produced, directed, and starred in. The film was controversial for its time, as it featured a same-sex dance between Natsumova and actress Maud Allen. Natsumova's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in her work. As a Russian Jewish woman, she faced discrimination and prejudice throughout her career. This no doubt informed her portrayal of strong, complex female characters who refused to be silenced or oppressed. Natsumova's legacy continues to inspire actors and filmmakers today. Her artistic vision and bold choices paved the way for future generations of artists to explore their own creativity and push boundaries in their work. The actress served as godmother to First Lady Nancy Reagan, also known as Nancy Davis, and was aunt to producer Val Luton. In the 1941 version of Blood and Sand, she played Senora Augustias, Juan's mother. Interestingly, she had previously co-starred with Rudolph Valentino, who starred in the 1922 silent movie version of Blood and Sand in Camille from 1921. After her passing, the actress was laid to rest at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California, in the Whispering Pines section. The actress, known for her groundbreaking work in silent films, was a true trailblazer of her time. 
Born in 1879, she began her career on the Russian stage before making her way to Hollywood in the early 1900s. One of the most notable contributions the actress made to the industry was her willingness to take on unconventional roles. At a time when many actresses were relegated to playing stereotypical female characters, she chose parts that allowed her to explore complex emotions and situations. Her performance in the 1923 film Salome is a prime example of this. The actress not only starred in the film but also produced and wrote it, making her one of the first women in Hollywood to hold such powerful positions. The actress's influence can still be seen in modern storytelling. Her willingness to push boundaries and challenge societal norms has inspired countless filmmakers and actors to do the same. As film critic and historian Leonard Maltin put it, Natsumova was a true pioneer, not just for women in Hollywood but for all actors who wanted to take control of their own careers. The actress's impact on the industry was further solidified by her unique acting style. She was known for her expressive facial expressions and physicality, which allowed her to convey complex emotions without the aid of dialogue. Director and actress Ida Lupino, who was inspired by the actress's work, once said, she had a way of using her body and face to tell a story that was completely unique. She was a true artist. Despite facing numerous challenges and obstacles throughout her career, the actress remained a force to be reckoned with. Her contributions to the industry continue to be celebrated and studied, and her influence can still be seen in modern cinema. In the words of film historian and author Aubrey Solomon, Natsumova's impact on the industry is immeasurable. She was a true trailblazer who paved the way for future generations of actors and filmmakers. The actress, known for her powerful performances, was considered the supreme interpreter of Henrik Ibsen's works during her time. Her skill and talent were recognized far and wide, leading to impressive earnings. After making 100,000 from touring in War Brides, she went on to earn an additional 60,000 from the film version. This success allowed her to secure a solid financial footing. In 1927, she became a naturalized citizen of the United States, further solidifying her connection to the country where she had built her career. The actress, known for her groundbreaking work in theater and film, led a private life that was deeply intertwined with her professional values. She was a strong advocate for artistic freedom and expression, often taking on unconventional roles that challenged societal norms. In her personal life, the actress was passionate about social justice and philanthropy. She was a generous benefactor to various causes, using her wealth and influence to make a positive impact on the world. She was particularly interested in supporting emerging artists and providing them with opportunities to develop their craft. One of the actress's most notable philanthropic efforts was her support for the American Red Cross. She was a dedicated volunteer and donor using her platform to raise awareness and funds for the organization. During World War I, she organized several fundraising events and even traveled to Europe to visit wounded soldiers and provide them with comfort and support. The actress's personal values also influenced her work in the film industry. She was a pioneer for women in Hollywood, using her influence to advocate for gender equality and representation. She was one of the first women in Hollywood to produce and direct her own films, breaking down barriers and paving the way for future generations of female filmmakers. Despite her success, the actress remained humble and dedicated to her craft. She continued to act and direct well into her later years, inspiring countless others with her talent, passion, and commitment to social justice. Her legacy continues to resonate today, serving as a reminder of the power of art and activism to create positive change in the world. The actress, a breast cancer survivor, was born to a Jewish family in Yalta, Ukraine. She was known for her interest in playing dual roles, as seen in The Red Lantern. Her ability to embody two distinct characters in a single production showcased her talent and dedication to her craft. The actress, known for her groundbreaking work in silent films, left an indelible mark on the industry. She was a trailblazer, pushing boundaries and challenging norms through her bold and daring performances. Her legacy lies in her ability to captivate audiences and inspire future generations of artists. Despite facing discrimination and prejudice due to her gender and ethnicity, the actress persevered and carved out a successful career in Hollywood. She was a true pioneer, using her platform to advocate for women's rights and promote artistic expression. For aspiring professionals in the field, the actress offers this advice never be afraid to take risks and challenge the status quo. Be true to yourself and your art and always strive to make a positive impact on the world around you.
Looking to the future, the actress envisions contributing to the industry in new and innovative ways. She sees herself continuing to push boundaries and inspire change, using her talents to create captivating and thought-provoking work. In the end, the actress's legacy is one of resilience, creativity, and trailblazing spirit. Her contributions to the world of film will continue to resonate for generations to come, inspiring future artists to dream big and make their mark on the world. During the height of her career, the actress known simply as Natsumova made a lasting impact on the film industry. Her debut film marked the beginning of the First World War, while her final movie touched on the Second World War. In her final film, Since You Went Away, she portrayed Zofia Koslowska, showcasing her talent and dedication to her craft even until the end. The actress's ability to captivate audiences and leave a mark in the film industry is a testament to her enduring legacy. The actress, born in 1879, began her journey on the stage in Russia before making her way to the United States. She quickly made a name for herself as a passionate and innovative performer, pushing boundaries in both theater and film. In 1916, she became one of the first actresses to establish her own film production company, further showcasing her creative control and vision. Despite facing obstacles and discrimination in the industry, the actress persisted, becoming a symbol of perseverance and determination. She starred in and produced groundbreaking films such as Salome, which featured an all-female cast and was one of the first films to be based on a literary work. The actress's impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. Her innovative approach to storytelling and her unwavering passion for her craft continue to inspire and influence artists in the field. She proved that creativity and perseverance can lead to great success, even in the face of adversity. In the end, the actress's legacy serves as a reminder of the power of art and the importance of staying true to one's vision. Her journey is a testament to the impact that a single individual can have on an entire industry and the enduring influence of creativity and determination. The 39th Street Playhouse in Broadway holds a significant place in theater history, as it was once known as the Natsumova Theater. This change reflects the actress's influence and success during her time. The actress, born in 1879, was a trailblazer in the industry. She started her career in Russia before moving to the United States, where she quickly gained recognition for her unique style and talent. Her innovative approach to acting, characterized by her subtle expressions and emotional depth, set her apart from her contemporaries. In 1918, the actress decided to produce and star in a play called A Doll's House, which was a bold move at the time. She transformed the 39th Street Playhouse into a venue that reflected her artistic vision, renaming it the Natsumova Theater. The theater became a space where she could experiment with new ideas and push the boundaries of traditional theater. The actress's production of A Doll's House was a critical and commercial success. It was praised for its modern interpretation of the play and the actress's powerful performance. Her success at the theater led to more opportunities in the film industry, where she continued to make an impact. Despite her achievements, the actress's career was not without challenges. She faced discrimination and prejudice due to her gender and ethnicity. However, she remained determined and continued to break barriers in the industry. In conclusion, the actress's influence on the theater and film industry is undeniable. Her innovative approach to acting and her willingness to take risks have left a lasting impact on the industry. The Natsumova Theater stands as a testament to her success and her contributions to the world of entertainment. The film industry can be a challenging and unpredictable place, and the actress experienced this firsthand. Despite her success and groundbreaking work, she faced financial ruin due to her extravagant lifestyle and the high costs of producing her films. She was known for her opulent parties and her support of the arts, but these passions ultimately led to her downfall. One of the actress's most notable contributions to the film industry was her work as a producer and her support of other artists. She was one of the first women in Hollywood to have complete control over her films, from casting to final cut. However, this independence came at a cost. The actress invested heavily in her productions, often spending lavishly on sets, costumes, and talent. As a result, many of her films failed to turn a profit, leaving her in a precarious financial situation. Despite her financial struggles, the actress continued to work in the industry, taking on roles in both films and stage productions. She also remained active in the arts community, hosting salons and events for other artists and writers. However, she never again achieved the same level of success or acclaim that she had experienced in her early career. 
the actress's story is a tragic reminder of the risks and challenges that come with creative independence and artistic expression. While she left an indelible mark on the film industry and paved the way for future generations of women in Hollywood, her financial struggles serve as a cautionary tale for those who dare to dream big. After watching the actress's work, you may find yourself reflecting on the unique contributions she made to the world of entertainment. The actress was known for her ability to fully embody each character she played, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Her work in the film The Wild Party is a prime example of her talent and dedication to her craft. Despite facing many challenges and obstacles throughout her career, the actress persevered and continued to push boundaries in the film and theater industries. Her legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and filmmakers today. If you're a fan of the actress, be sure to share your thoughts and memories of her work in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. So, what do you think about the actress's work and legacy? Who is your favorite character she played and why? Let us know in the comments.